In this nugget, we are going to explore the character, Dr. Lanyon. Dr. Lanyon is a long-standing friend of Mr. Utterson and Dr. Jekyll's. However, Dr. Lanyon and Dr. Jekyll have fallen out because of their differing scientific beliefs. In the second chapter, Search for Mr. Hyde, Mr. Utterson goes to visit his friend Dr. Lanyon. We are told that Dr. Lanyon welcomes Mr. Utterson heartily and genuinely because the two are old friends from school and college. The narrator describes Dr. Lanyon to us. This was a hearty, healthy, dapper, red-faced gentleman with a shock of hair prematurely white and a boisterous and decided manner. The description of Dr. Lanyon's appearance suggests that he is a cheerful and happy character. The link between a character's appearance and their personality is a common trope in Victorian literature. A trope is something that recurs or repeats throughout literature. Dr. Lanyon reveals that he no longer sees Henry Jekyll very often because he feels that Henry Jekyll has become too fanciful and has gone wrong in mind. Fanciful means that someone is being over-imaginative. When Dr. Lanyon says that Jekyll is wrong in mind, he probably means that Jekyll is mentally ill, but mental illness was not understood then as it is today. Lanyon and Jekyll's attitude to science differs. Dr. Jekyll is experimental, dealing with supernatural or paranormal events. Dr. Lanyon is highly rational and practical. He does not even believe Jekyll's experiments are scientific. Dr. Lanyon is a key character to discuss for one of the main themes of the novella, science. Dr. Lanyon says, such unscientific balderdash would have estranged Damon and Pythias. Balderdash means nonsense. To be estranged means that you are no longer close to someone. Damon and Pythias are two very close friends from a Greek legend. In chapter 6, Remarkable Incident of Dr. Lanyon, Utterson visits Dr. Lanyon, who is suddenly very ill. We are told, he had his death warrant written legibly upon his face. The rosy man had grown pale. His flesh had fallen away. He was visibly bolder and older. Lanyon explains that he has had a shock that will kill him in weeks, and it is clear that it has something to do with Jekyll. A death warrant is an official document which orders someone's execution. When Utterson mentions Jekyll, Lanyon says he does not want to hear about him. But Lanyon's face changed and he held up a trembling hand. I wish to see or hear no more of Dr. Jekyll, he said in a loud, unsteady voice. I am quite done with that person and I beg that you will spare me any allusion to one whom I regard as dead. Three weeks later, Lanyon dies. Lanyon leaves a letter for Utterson, which is only to be opened if Jekyll dies or disappears. Utterson is immensely curious and wishes to read the letter, but he is a professional lawyer, so he locks the letter in his safe, unread. In chapter 9, Dr. Lanyon's narrative, Utterson reads the letter from Lanyon. In the letter, Lanyon describes a favour that Jekyll asked of him, to fetch a draw from his home, which Lanyon performed. Lanyon then witnessed Hyde transform into Jekyll. The shock subsequently killed him. The fact that Dr. Lanyon witnesses Jekyll's transformation is crucial to the plot of the novella. He is the only character to witness it. Without his testimony, Utterson and the reader might easily believe that Jekyll was hallucinating. Remember, to gain marks in AO1, you have to show that you understand the significance of each character and how they progress throughout the text. Dr. Lanyon's key facts. Dr. Lanyon disagrees with Dr. Jekyll about science. Dr. Lanyon is important because he witnesses Hyde transform into Jekyll. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like 
And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to check out more of Century's content and visit our website to find out about our learning platform.